Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand database design using entity relationship model. In short, it is called as ER model. So, do we need to design a database? Is it required to design a database before implementation? Yes, it is required to implement a database before implementation. So, uh, whenever you are asked to design a database, how we are going to do that? You are asked to create a database, how we are going to do that? So, uh, being an engineer, what we will do is, uh, we will first design the database and later we will try to implement the database. Let's try to understand the concept of why we need to design the database by using the analogy of constructing a house. For example, if you want to construct a house, what we will do? So, will we directly ask the constructor to come to the site and uh, uh, we will directly start constructing the house? Will that happen in that way? No, what happens is, first we will go to an engineer and we will ask the we will tell the engineer about the requirements of how we would like to construct our house how we would like our house to be so that those requirements are provided to the civil engineer so let's try to understand that for example uh, you want to construct a house and uh, uh, we have we have gone to the civil engineer and we we have given our requirements so what are those requirements are first we will provide the details of the sites for example details of the site it is uh, 100 feet length by 150 feet length uh, width so this is how the site will be okay so this this visualization has to be provided to the civil engineer now next what we will do is we will we will give the requirements as a three bedroom flat we would like to construct a three bedroom flat so this is another requirement and we ask two attached baths so two at attached bathroom should be there we need a parking space parking space is required so these are all the requirements that are provided by the uh, by the customer to the civil engineer now what the civil engineer will do so after taking all these requirements so so many requirements will be provided after taking all these requirements what the civil engineer will do is he will design this so he, he is having some visualization that visualization has to be put on the paper so for that to happen so he is going to give the plan so he is going to take 100 feet length and 150 feet length so this is 100 feet and this is 150 feet so with this he is going to get the visualization of the site now he is going to give the plan so this is the house plan house plan so now uh, this plan will be provided to the customer this plan this plan will be provided to the customer now what the customer will do is he will verify all that uh, content so all that plan he is going to check it clearly and he may give some uh, another requirement so based upon that the plan may change and fin uh, finally he is going to print the blueprint of the plan blueprint of the plan so based upon that based upon that blueprint we will provide that blueprint to the constructor and now the constructor is going to will construct the house based upon that plan if you do the things in that way that is what we call it as uh, the the construction of the house will be successful so the things will go according to according to the plan okay so this is how the things will happen while constructing a house so in the same way whenever we want to design a database we have to collect the requirements and for those requirements we have to design the database so how the designing the database is done is it is done by using er diagrams as we have uh, as we know that the plan is done by using blueprints so uh, that plan similarly similarly the database design is done by using er diagram er model or er diagram so which is what we call it as entity relationship model so about this er diagrams we will try to understand so this is how the design will be for example if you if you are asked to design a database being an engineer what we will do is first we will collect all the requirements from the company why we why we need to collect the requirements because we don't know what the company is how they work and what kind of data they want to store and what is the relationship between the different entities different entities means uh, departments projects employees these are all what we call it as entities so among these entities there is a relationship so we have to find 
find that relationship and what are the different we we have to collect all the different possible collections the, uh, all the possible requirements that are there with the employees of the company so uh, we are going to go to the each and every employee almost every employee we, we will ask them what kind of requirements do you need so based upon the requirements that we have collected so for example assume that for this for the company we have collected these requirements so uh, these are the requirements which is documented uh, on simple language by using a simple language so based upon these requirements the engineer will design a database model the design is done by using entity relationship model so these requirements are converted into this into this design so how this design has to be done and how we are going to collect the requirements so after collecting the requirements how we are going to convert these requirements into this diagram so how that is done that we will try to understand in our later coming classes so this is the er diagram for the company database that we are going to design so after designing so we will take this design to the software developers so what they will do is based upon this diagram they are going to implement it on the computer on the computer they will implement this diagram uh, uh, so how that implementation will be done that also we'll see in our later coming classes what you have to understand is in order to design we have to first collect the requirements and after that those based upon those requirements we have to design uh, uh, the er diagram so entity relationship diagram based upon that model we have to construct a diagram so this is the first phase of design of the database after that the implementation is done so this is all about e entity relationship model hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends thanks for watching